Hi guys! Uh, it's Megan Rose from the Philippines. It's July 12, uh, Thursday, 2018. Welcome to my channel. It is called Canchillera, a show and tell of craft and crochet related items. Uh, this is my third video for this week as I am very busy filling up orders for my Tito and Aunt Mirna. So, those are the two minions. So, I started this last Sunday after church and I was making it along with the beaded items that are also orders. So, I'm just going to show you quickly. So, this I just finished this today. I embroidered the lettering for the pocket part just a while ago. Uh, yesterday, I have made the body and the I have put together the body, the jumper part, and the smile. So today, I added on the arm parts with the gloves and the feet along with the boots and also this pocket part. Also for the strap of the goggles. So, I have been making this on and off for 4 days. Uh, so these are the twin minions. Uh, the first one that I have made from a long time ago turned out a little bit long. So I learned from it and I decided to make him shorter. And I measured how to put the smile and how to put the front part for the jumper. So he also has that uh, hair on the top of his head. And I'm supposed to put key rings on this, but it's easy to do that, so I'm going to make that uh, and later. So those are the two minions that I have made. I was playing with this with Danielle and singing the song. So those are the two minions. And then I have made uh, two small beaded clutch bags or pouches that has names on it the first one that I made is this one you cannot read it because it's the other way around but it spells uh, Shania it is using this dark pink beads and I have put some embellishments of flowers with leaves on it so what is left for this is the lining and the zipper and I'm going to do that later with the sewing machine and I was hoping to make a tips and tricks video for beading on how to measure the lining so it will go with this type of wallet so I'm hoping to capture some clips of that so this is one of the pouches and it has another one with shami name that is kind of spelled like shame but the kid's name she's a girl so the kid's name is shami and i also put some embossed flowers and leaves on it so these are going to be for siblings uh my aunt suggested for it for her uh, nieces so I still have to put the lining on them and the last one will be this one which is uh, as big as the other clutch bugs that I have made before so this one it spells Denise and I made a lettering for it so it will accommodate this part and I also put some um, flowers and boss and leaves leaves <laughs> I keep telling leaves leaves <laughs> So, I also incorporated some design for the handle part, some circle ones. So, this one is as big as the first ones I made, like this one. The only left thing for it is the lining and zipper. And I also have bought the appropriate color of lining from Kiapo because it will be much more convenient for me to buy the uh, rather than in Divisoria because in Divisoria they don't sell for one yard they wanted to sell them for two yards so I couldn't take it from there so I bought 
So these are satin fabrics. Uh, the ones that I used before are called Gina Cloth. And it is the cheaper version. But this one, it is already packed and cut for one yard for each color. This one is the Pusha Pink. So they are a little bit pricey but it is convenient so I took them. So I have also the red one. I was supposed to make uh, three wallets of this size with the same color. But my auntie didn't uh, say to me yet what names to put on them so i wasn't able to make those maybe in the future because uh, i was rushing this because she's going to give this to her sister and nieces that is going back to germany on sunday the 15th so i was rushing it and i've also made i have an update for the amigurumi uh, the Amigurumi projects that I have been making for a while now. So the other day, I managed to put the arms, the feet for this, and also the ears. So there's this other one for the arms, the feet, and the ears. So I'm guessing these are going to be cats. And I have an idea for Amigurumis to be like pals or friends where they put uh, their arms around each other and they're going to go along <laughs> so i have that idea for an amigurumi uh, from before so that's my update and i hope you enjoy seeing my projects today i'm thinking i'm thinking that this is going to be a short video so these are the minions once again so I'm going to take a picture uh, later for the thumbnails because I'm still into that putting thumbnails on my older videos and tutorials. I'm hoping to make a tutorial next week of the dog teaching. I'm hoping I will have the time for that. And I think those are it. I hope you guys have a fine day. Today here it is quite sunny and the kids have half day of school i guess so ata is um, fetching them they have a uh, varying schedule in school so it is hard to keep up with their schedule so whenever they're here uh, they just enjoy watching on tablets hoping to play some board games with them soon because sometimes they suggest that so i guess that's it for me hope you have a time for crafting and relaxing and some family bonding time as i always say uh, that's it for me bye for now